The father put on the whole armor of God. The dragon makes fire come down from heaven and destroy everyone. The father protects everyone. Satan destroys everyone. Do you see the six and the seven? The father wants to protect you. Satan wants to destroy you. The son and the Holy Trinity. We read Genesis 126. Genesis 126. Then God said, let us make in our image. Let us make a man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the and over the cattle, over all the earth and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. He gave this man dominion, rulership over the entire earth and everything that is in it. But what did he say? Let us make a man in our image. On the other hand, the second, the second thing in the filthy trinity, the other six, the beast, what does he do? He was, he was granted power to give breath to the image. You see the image? Let us make man an image of God. This one is making an image of the beast, not God. Of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed revelation 13 15. so now now we read genesis 2 9. in genesis 2 9 we see two trees the tree of life was also in the midst of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil now let's come now compare the sun to that beast the sun is god's image which is the tree of life, who is Christ. Who is the image of God, the Father? Christ, Jesus. Who is the Son? The image of the Father. The beast. Beast image, tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Who is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? Us. You see, when Adam broke God's word in the Garden of Eden, God forbade him from eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He said, you can eat from the tree of life, who is Christ. You can eat from all the trees. It's okay for your, for your well-being, for your physical well-being. But the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, that day you eat Adam from it, surely you shall die. Why? Because the moment you eat from that tree, that image which I, God, created you with in the, from the very beginning. That image was the image of my son, which is the image of God. The moment you break my word, that image you will lose, you will gain the image of the beast, Satan. So when any human says, I will do things my way, I don't care about God, I don't care about mom and dad, I don't care about no priest, no bishop, no no one, I will... I will adhere to no one's advice. I'll do whatever is in my head. You will end up being the image of the beast and your end will be evil. See, the tree is the knowledge of good, the beginning. So when you go out with your friends at the beginning, it's good, it's fun. Man, we went downtown, brother, for the first time. I, I became alive at home. They imprisoned me, mom and dad, especially Middle Eastern people, old fashioned. So when I went with my friends, I had fun for the first time. It was beautiful. I saw so many gazelles and so many colors and so many tastes. And you continued with that. The beginning was good, but the end was evil. You ended up taking drugs and being with a hundred girls and boys. And then later on, you hurt yourself and ended up in prison. You became a drug addict and a drug dealer and you lost yourself. Because the image of the beast is here to destroy. It can't be any clearer than this. Let's open our ears and eyes and hearts and souls. The Holy Spirit, the third person in the Holy Trinity. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. For as many 
that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. When the Spirit of God is leading you, you are the son of God. You live, you're listening to him. Now look at the, the, the false prophet. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand and on their foreheads. Revelation 13, 16. Now let's compare the two. Holy Spirit, between Holy Spirit and the false prophet. Holy Spirit, sons, false prophet, slaves. He will put you a mark. Without this mark, you can't buy, you can't sell, you can't do nothing. What are you then? You're a slave. What did God do? Gave you freedom. You're a son. You're not a slave. And the son is free, but the slave is not. The slave does what he is told. The son does freely in daddy's home. God gave us sonship freedom. Satan came, gave us slavery. False image. Holy Trinity against filthy Trinity. Holy Trinity, Father is love. Dragon, Father is love, life. Dragon is hate, death. The Son, the image of God. The beast, the image of Satan. The Holy Spirit, sealed for heaven, free. The false prophet, sealed for hell, slave. And you read that in Ephesians 1 and Revelation, um, Revelation chapter 13.